Hi everyone, this is HP NY6120E and in this video I will show you an easy way to connect this multifunctional printer to your Windows PC and start to print and scan wirelessly using HP Smart Application. Let's get into it. Obviously, your printer must be powered on and I suppose you have already installed in cartridges and loaded some paper in the paper tray. And now we can continue to set up. First of all, we need to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. To do this, on the printer's display, touch the menu icon and swipe up until you see settings. Tap on settings. Now tap on network. Tap on Wi-Fi. And next tap on the start button next to Wi-Fi setup, like this. And it's searching for your Wi-Fi routers. In this list I see my networks. Now you need to select your router from this network. 5 GHz band has faster network speed and 2.4 GHz band has wider range. So my router is on my table, so let me connect to 5 GHz band. This is my router. I need to tap on its name and tap next. In this field you need to enter your Wi-Fi password, so tap on the field. Now you see on screen keyboard just like on Android devices and uh, enter your password. I hope your password is stronger than mine. You can tap on this eye icon to see what you're typing, then press OK and submit. Confirm your settings, so check everything. Once again, you can tap show password to check the password and tap OK to connect. Connection successful and, and it's getting the IP address. Now you can, you can scroll down to see the network information or print report if you wish so. Uh, IP address, uh, you may need this address to enter the router's settings from the web interface. So write it down or print this report if you need and press OK. And now you can continue on your Windows computer. Also you can press home to return to the home screen. To set up this printer on your Windows computer, you need to install HP Smart. It's available in Microsoft Store and by the way, it's available also in App Store and Google Play Store. So you can set up your printer on, on any device. So you need to get HP Smart application and that's all what you need. Uh, this application will automatically install drivers and firmware. You will be able to print, scan and uh, maintain your printer in this application. It's really smart. So it's installing. Now make sure your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. Uh, and open the application. First, accept terms and conditions or decline optional data, which I prefer. Let HP Smart access your precise location. Yes, this is necessary permission to set up your printer. And in this window, click on Add Printer. It's searching for printers. Wait until your printer is found. NY6100E series, that's what you need. So uh, this printer is online, click on its icon. And your printer is already connected and you can start printing, scanning and using this application. And one more thing, to use this application you have to log in to your HP account or create one if you don't have. They force you to do it, to use the application, but it's worth because the app is really smart. So uh, click on this icon at the top left of the applications window and log in to your account or create. Let me skip this step because it's very simple, just like create account on Amazon or somewhere else. I already logged in to my account so I can print and scan documents from this application. To print documents from the app just click on this tile print documents select file you wish to print from your file system adjust your settings in this window and click on print but you don't have to use this application each time you wish to print something you can print from any application that allows to do it let's say you want to print an email so you need to open your mail service select an email you wish to print uh, and then Find the printer icon, click on this icon and first of all, next to destination, you need to make sure that your printer is selected. If you don't see your printer here, click on see more and select your HP NY6100E series over here. Now please wait for printer connection. 
If your printer is taking too long to connect, just restart your computer so that the system can initialize the printer's drivers and it will show up here. And now let's set up your print. First of all, set how many pages, which pages of this document do you wish to print? Alt pages, even pages or custom. You can enter the range from one to three, for example, or enter comma separated values only one and three. Uh, how many copies do you wish to print? Uh, select your layout, portrait or landscape. Now I set color or black and white printing. Uh, click on more settings. Set your paper size. It's A4 in my case. I don't have to change anything here. How many pages per sheet do you wish to print? Up to 16 pages. You can print two pages per sheet. It will look like this. But let's print just one. I set margins. You can see your changes in this preview and set margins manually if you need, like this. Uh, set the printing quality up to 1200 dpi. Uh, set scale, you can downscale your document or upscale, vice versa. But don't hit enter in this field because it will print right away. Just click somewhere out of the field. Let's set the scale to 100% and uh, enable two-sided print if you need because this printer can automatically print on both sides uh, and flip on long edge and use this option if you need two-sided a4 document and flip on short edge if you need to fold a4 to double a5 document like booklet so let's flip on long edge uh, add options headers and footers background graphics but in this application, as I know, there is no background graphics. And once you're done with your settings, uh, click on print and wait for the result. Now it's printing the first site. And right away, it's pulling the paper back to print on the second site. It's very convenient, good quality, good job. Thank you, printer. And also let me show you how to scan. To scan, you need to use HP Smart application. So open this app, click on the scan tile, uh, ignore this window or learn more later if you wish. And uh, now you need to place your document correctly in the scanning unit. So open this lid and place your document facing down and make sure that the top left corner of your document is aligned with the top left corner of the scanning surface. You have like shaded corner over here and you need to align the corners like this and make sure that the edges of the document fit snugly to the borders of the scanning surface. Now close the lid. Uh, also notice your paper size. It's A4 in my case, use these markers. Next, in the application, adjust your scan settings. If you wish to detect the edges of the document manually, check this checkbox. Next, select a preset, whether this photo or document. This is document. Uh, now, select the scan area. You can select your paper size or switch to entire scan area and later uh, detect the edges manually. Now, select output, color or grayscale. Compression, if you wish to compress the size of the file and resolution. 300 dpi is more than enough for documents. Uh, also, click on this magic wand and enable auto enhancements for your uh, documents and images, contrast, brightness, and so on. Uh, also, enable auto orientation just in case you've put the documents upside down. And um, once you're done, just Click on scan and wait for the result in this window. Once you've got the scan result, you can adjust borders manually. Just drag these corners or click on auto to auto detect or click on full to capture the full scanning area. And once you're done, click on apply. And in the next menu, click on these three dots to edit your document. Uh, now you can crop your document to standard size or custom, just drag the corners to set the crop size, uh, adjust brightness, saturation, contrast, and so on, apply filters, add text, mark up your document, and we'll click on down to save your settings or cancel to uh, cancel settings. Uh, 
Uh, also, you can add the next page to the documents to do this. Click on Add and you have two options. The first one is place the next document, the next page uh, to the scanning unit like this. Uh, adjust your settings. You can set different uh, adjustments for each document. You can combine documents and photos, combine different paper sizes, different compression, different resolution. And the second option, you can import the existing uh, document right to your scan results. So click on import to do this. Select a document you wish to import. Uh, let's say we want to import some image like this. Then detect edges, click to full, apply. And now you have two pages in your scan. You can edit each one. And once you're done, uh, you can right away print this document or save to your file system or send fax or share. So let's just save this time. Select PDF if you wish to save multiple pages file or select image if you want to save different images as different files. Now name your document in this field, set compression or save without compression and click on save. Now select location, let's, let's say desktop or downloads or documents, uh, click save and your file has been saved. Feel free to explore more features of this application. Go to printer settings and see what's there. Uh, to enter the printer settings, you may need to enter a pin code. You can find this pin code under the scanning unit on this product label or on the same product label on the back panel of your printer over there. And that's pretty it for today, guys. Now you know how to connect your HP and Y6120E to your Windows PC. And I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, any questions comment below and be awesome guys. Bye.